You want to get the essential mod? Let's go ahead and do it. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link in the description down below, and it takes you to the essential download page. Once you're here, go ahead and click on download, and then once you've clicked that, this is where you'll see all of the different downloads for all the different versions of Essential. Now, we're doing 1.20.4 here, which means we have to use the Fabric version. The Forge version is not updated for that version yet, so you want to go ahead and click on the 1.20.4 version here, and it will go ahead and start downloading. Now, there is something else you need to download, the Fabric Mod Loader, of course. It's the Fabric version of Essential, so you want to come in here and download this. Once you're here, scroll down and click the Download Fabric button to be taken to the official Fabric download page. On this page, you want to click on the Download Universal Jar link here. The reason we're doing that is if you download the Universal Jar instead of the Windows one, in the future, you won't have any issues downloading other mods. So that's why we're downloading the Universal Jar. When you click on that, the download will begin, and you may need to keep or save it. Well, that's not like how to invest from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own Minecraft server, where you can easily add mods, plugins, or mod packs, and generally just play Minecraft with your friends the simplest and easiest way possible. One of the biggest downsides of the Essential Mod is that it doesn't work well with other mods. It's also only up and running when you're running the Essential Mod and at Simple Game Hosting, your server can be up 24-7. You can add any mods that you want, including CurseForge or FTB Mod Packs and so many other mod packs and customizations. And on top of that, if you have any issues along the way, because I get it, sometimes it can be intimidating to host a Minecraft server, there is expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your Minecraft server and start playing Minecraft with your friends the Simple way. But unless all of our files are now downloaded, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to move these to our desktop. They're going to be in my downloads folder here and once they're on your desktop, we actually want to start off with the fabric installer here. Go ahead and right click on this, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java here, what you want to do is go to the description down below and get Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods such as Essential. So you want to go here and download this. You may also need to run the jar fix. And what this will do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, but make sure to run Java first. So get Java, then get the jar fix, and then you'll be able to open up Fabric. Let's go ahead and right click on Fabric, click on open with, click Java and click OK. And that will open up the mod installer or the fabric installer. And then you want to make sure that 1.20.4 is selected. Make sure create profile is checked and click install. Fabric is now installed. It's that quick and easy to get fabric. And now we just need to install the essential mod, which is also pretty quick and easy if I'm honest. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now when we're in the Minecraft launcher, don't click play. Do not play Minecraft. Just open the Minecraft launcher. And then once you're in the Minecraft launcher, what we'll want to do is navigate to the installations tab. So in the Minecraft launcher here, navigate to the installations tab at the top. And then as you can see here, we have the modded installations checked. If you don't have modded checked over here, fabric won't appear. But as soon as you check it, there it is. Now if you still don't have fabric 1.20.4 here, go ahead and click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it simplegamehosting.com because, well, that's the easiest way to start a 24-hour Minecraft server and play Minecraft with your friends. And then we want to go ahead and click the drop-down box here and select release fabric loader. From there, we can change the resolution. I'm assuming that's so you can see better once we get in game. And then click create. Now, to install the Essential Mod, what we want to do is hover over either the profile we created or the one that was there by default, the Fabric Loader one, and click the folder icon. That's going to open up our Minecraft folder, and in here, you should have a Mods folder. But Nick, I don't. Well, I don't have a Mods folder either, so right-click, create a new folder, and just title it Mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that, and then open it up. Now, drag and drop the Essential Fabric Mod into our Mods folder. And there we go. It is now installed. When we open up Minecraft with Fabric, you want to make sure that you're playing with your Fabric installation. Once you open up Minecraft with that, Essential is installed and you're good to go. You can add your friends. You can easily play Minecraft with them by inviting them to single player worlds. But keep in mind, it's difficult to have mods with the Essentials mod. It, it's honestly one of the more difficult parts of it. And it's only going to be up and running while Minecraft is running your world and your computer is online and that stuff. And that's the benefit of a third party host or making your own server at Simple Game Hosting or even on your own computer because you can have it up more often as well as have it up 24-7 on Simple Game Hosting, easily add mods, all of that stuff. But you can see it is all set up here. And if we jump into a single player world, you can actually invite your friends to that world. It's the biggest benefit of Essentials. There's skins and customizations and other stuff that Essentials does. But truthfully, this is why people want to play it because you can go into social here and assuming you agree to this, which we do, and click continue, you can invite people over and to your single player worlds, right? So if we come here, I've got all these friend requests. Um, I don't recognize any of them, but if I could invite them if I wanted to, 
and add them to this world. So there you have it. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy the Essential Mod, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.